Hey everyone, Ryan Ratliff here from Mad River Outfitters. Today we're gonna tie a simple steel headstone. You can customize for any situation, any size. Works great on trout also. Uh, and I'll show you a few variations as we go. Let's get this started. First off, scud hook in the vise here. This happens to be a TMC 2457. This is gonna be the heavy wire hook. Uh, this is a size eight, so this is a bigger fly. Could be used for salmon also, but obviously, like I said, customize it to what you want. Just regular 6.0 Vivas thread in, in the bobbin. Let's go ahead and get this started. Basically, no bead on this. It's gonna be unweighted, so you can adjust your rig as you need to. We'll just drop this thread down the back. Uh, the awesome Loon left-handed scissors. Really digging these. All right, so when I get down to this point here, I put a little ball of thread, just kind of a little tip for putting your biot tails in. All right, since I have this size hook, I'm not going with your typical goose biots. I'm actually going with the big long turkey biots. So together, they're on top of themselves like this. I'm gonna lay it right on top of that little ball. Couple wraps. Then I'm gonna slide it to adjust the length that I want. And then I am going to just separate them by pulling them one one way, one the other way. Kind of looks like a pair of scissors. So simple way of doing it. A little bit of noise going on. If you hear anything, it's not Katie building your fly rods for you. We got some construction going on next door. So it's quiet at the moment, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we'll get that all separated out. See how I kind of split them. Get the right length that you want. Just pull them as you go. All right, then I'll wrap this down nice and even up to about three quarter of the way up. Just want to get a nice even base on there. Trim off the tags. Those nice long turkey biots. All right, since my thread's already up here, I'm going to keep it right there. I'm going to grab some large black wire. You could also use uh, some of the vinyl rib if you wanted to. Just up to you. So I'm going to put this wire on my side of the hook and wrap as thread tension goes, it's gonna to wanna to pull it up. So I'll just make sure I tame that, but I'm gonna lay it down the side of the hook. So it is kind of making it the hook platform just a little bit wider. Once I get down to right where it meets the biots, good amount of pressure with the thread, good tight wraps there. And I'm going to wrap up to just past the middle part of the hook shank and just past the hook point right there. Okay. So wire will get put in this little clip here. Half hitch on this. Mission impossible. Drop the bobbin into the bobbin cradle. Then go nice and even wraps as I use the rotary feature on my saltwater traveler tripped out traveler get nice even segmentations as you go up and see how easy it is with that rotary vise gonna get up to here gonna hold straight up with the wire kick the bobbin out or bobbin holder out of the way a couple turns over top of that wire there hold that tension uh, just this is the easiest way I find to do it. Just helicopter it out. Now there's a little sharp nub for that wire. You're gonna go super easy over top of that. And then I'm gonna wrap oh, back over top of that just slightly, just like that. Okay, another set of biots. This time both of them are together. I'll kind of separate them just slightly. They're cupped. I want the cup to go away from the hook shank. So I'm gonna drop one in, just hold it there, a couple turns, adjust it to length. This first set, I want to go just past 
the hook bend. Put a little bit of tension on it, you can kind of see how it's just past that hook bend, not even with the tail. Match the other one on my side of the hook. Adjust it as I need to. See there? Just wrap them down. Trim this off. Next part has some all kinds of different things you can use here. This is just thin skin. This happens to be the model Bustard, uh, just to get some texture there. There's a shiny side and a doll side. I'm going to do doll side up because I'm going to fold it over. So just lay it on top of the hook. Kind of see how it's kind of cupping over top. Wrap back over it. Leave that hanging back there. Put it in your material clip, whatever you need. All right, dubbing ball. Next part of this, uh, this dubbing ball is real important. You want to make it kind of thick, but make sure you don't put too much dubbing on at one time. Just kind of make a ball here. I'm going to fold this over, make my first casing, drop this down, two wraps, fold it back, next biots. So this is going to be three basic series of the same exact thing here. So I could do it really, really fast um, if Dev wants to speed it up, but we'll see. All right, basically just lay one on that side. The dubbing ball is propping out those legs. Other leg even there. Trim them off. Overwrap that, another dubbing ball. Doesn't matter if it's not quite even there because we're going to put the dubbing over top of it. Now is a great time to subscribe uh, because this is going to be kind of a repetitive process. Just click that button real quick. And yeah, let us know if you want to see more of these quick videos like this. All right, forward, another shell casing. Just get a couple wraps over top of it, then you can adjust it as you want, as you see that you need. Fold it back. Over wrapping that casing just a little bit. Oh, and sometimes your thread breaks. Happens to all of us. Getting ready to suck on the tip of the bobbin, like blur it all out, like, <laughs> oh, not, not for casing back. Wrap over top of that again. Try not to break your thread. And we're just gonna repeat this whole process. Last biots. Another dubbing ball. This is my last casing, so it's gonna be a little bit bigger on the dubbing ball here. Again, you can use whatever color you want for this dubbing. I like this something just a little bit of contrast. It's for steelhead, I like something with a little bit of at least sparkle, if not fluorescent color. So let's pull this casing over. Stoneflies have uh, a lot of people add biots coming forward. Sto Stoneflies have antenna or whatever out front, um, I find that those just get beat up real quick, so I don't worry about them. I don't think the fish care, so. All right, just trim that little piece off and over wrap it there. Maybe trim it down just a little bit more. Keep it as you want. Whip finish.
Turn that off. See all the legs? Everything's going on there. If you wanted to take some UV resin, put over top of it to make it a little more durable, just a quick little shine across there. Something like that. I'll clean it up before I hit it with a light. Make sure your resin's exactly where you want it before you hit it with the light. Just hit it with that light, nice and even. Shell casing's nice and hard, very durable, great fly. Again, this is size eight, tied in any different size. Also, I'll tie it with tan. I'll use like an amber colored body for it, all kinds of different stuff. Great fly, you can fill a box real quick, change in lots of different colors. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, and let us know if there's something else you wanna see. All right, thanks.